right. Hey, everybody. It's Heather Mack, um, Boston Free Radio Station Manager, and I am here with a video tutorial on how to use Audacity to pre-record um, your content for your radio show. Uh, so this could include any introductions to songs, um, any breaks that you want to include in your show, so that not only are you scheduling the songs to play, but you're also making it feel like a real radio show with introductions and outros and back announcing. Um, this method can also be used for pre-recording podcasts that are talk-based, um, and so you can um, use this tool for that as well. So Audacity is a program that is totally free that you can download for PC or Mac, um, and it will allow you to record audio content. It'll allow you to adjust volume, add different effects, add background music, um, and export your files as WAV files. Um, and we're going to go through all of those different steps today, uh, how to record, how to import um, other sounds and other background music, um, how to adjust your sound quality um, and volume and all of that stuff. Um, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share my screen in Audacity so I can show you some of the basics. All right, so here we are in Audacity and um, it's pretty much an empty workstation until you start adding to it, right? So over here in the upper left-hand corner, you have your controls, uh, your play, pause, stop, um, start at the beginning, skip to the end, uh, and then record. And so today we're gonna be using the record button, but before we do anything, we really wanna make sure that our microphone is the correct microphone that we want to be recording from. So I have my microphone that I'm using right now is um, a professional microphone that we took from the podcasting studio. And so um, I have this plugged into an external recorder called an H4N, um, which is a super great little tool because you can plug in external microphones, but you can also um, connect the H4N to the computer. So that it kind of serves as a mixer as well, um, which is great. So I want to make sure that my uh, microphone here that's selected is the H4, okay, not the built-in microphone. Um, you guys might not be as lucky and have an external microphone like this, and so you can totally choose the built-in microphone. Um, if you do that, though, I definitely recommend finding a space that is small, um, ideally a room that does not have windows. Um, and that has maybe a carpet or the bigger the room, the more echo, the more reverb and bounce you're going to get. Um, honestly, a closet can be really good um, to help you kind of avoid some of that backsplash of, of sound. Um, if you do have an external mic, obviously use those. So those will definitely improve your sound. So for right now, I'm going to make sure I choose H4. Okay. So um, over here in the upper right, uh, you see there's a little microphone over here, and that is your recording volume. So this is saying unavailable, use system mixer. Um, so I can't actually turn the recording volume down because it recognizes that I have an external device, and that is the device that I need to record either myself quieter or louder on so I can adjust the volume um, of my microphone because um, what happens is if you don't adjust that volume before you start recording, it can be way too loud or way too quiet. Um, it's easier to fix quiet than it is to fix way too loud. What we're going to do is we're just going to start recording, okay? And so I'm going to press record and you should start to see visually um, my voice appearing via these waveforms. And you can pretty much tell from the beginning uh, again, by just by looking at it, if the waveforms start to get too large, and also if you look up at the top here where it's, it's green, um, when it starts to get into the yellow and red, it means it's a little too loud. So you want to make sure to either keep your voice quieter or adjust your recording volume. So yeah, so if I was doing a Boston Free Radio show from home, um, maybe I would record my intro piece and I'd say, hey everybody, uh, it's Friday, March uh, 27th, and my name is Heather Mack, and I'm here hosting a very special edition of uh, my show, uh, Boston Free Radio Presents, and we are going to be bringing you all sorts of new music uh, from local artists, um, but before we get into that, um, let me start by, you know, asking how everyone's doing and blah, 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 blah. So whatever it is that I want to record, I'm recording it, okay? Now I'm going to press stop 
when I'm done. And one thing I want to do before I press stop is I actually want to encourage you to leave a few seconds of silence at the end of whatever you're recording. Um, just because when we put these uh, little audio breaks into Radio Boss, sometimes it cuts off the ends a little quickly. So if you want to make sure that everything gets in there, you leave a few seconds of silence at the end. So I'm going to leave it now. Great. Now I'm pressing stop. So over here, now you see your waveform and you can scroll uh, from side to side here to be able to um, kind of get into the details of what you recorded. So um, let's just play it back and see how it sounds. Hey everybody, uh, it's Friday, March 27th, and my name is Heather Mack, and I'm here hosting a very special edition of... So yeah, so it sounds pretty good. Um, so here's how you begin to edit it, okay? So a couple things. Um, up here in the upper right-hand corner, right above the um, playback volume, you have a zoom in and zoom out. So this can be really helpful. So now I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so I can see where I'm at. And you guys notice how there's this little bar here. So that's the cursor. Anytime I click um, in a part of the track, um, that is going to have the cursor appear. And what I can do here is now that I've clicked, I can now use this cursor. Um, and actually, sorry, this is something I should have mentioned beforehand. In this upper left-hand corner here, you have these other tools. And the most important ones um, are the cursor and the time shift tool. And I'm going to show you what those what those do. But first, we're going to use the cursor tool. So I've selected that. And now I can click at a part and I can click and highlight all the rest of this that I don't need. OK, and press delete. If I didn't like that, you know, if I want to go back, I can press command Z. Um, or control Z if you're on a PC. So that's undo. The time shift tool allows you to mix multiple tracks. So see how I just switched from cursor to time shift. So this would be if you're trying to maybe, if you have some intro music for your show that you'd like to play. Um, I'm going to take my royalty free song that I just downloaded. And all you have to do is click and drag it into the workstation right underneath um, the track where you recorded your vocals. So as you can see, this is way longer than I need it to be. So again, I'm going to make sure I'm using my cursor tool and I'm going to click and highlight and get rid of the part I don't need. I have two different tracks here. Um, and what I want to do now is I want to create a nice fade in. And that's something that DJs that we like to do when we have access to the mixer is to do fade ins and fade outs, but you can actually do a manual fade in um, and fade out. And the way that you do that is um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so I can see. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag and highlight the first couple seconds of the song. Up here at the top, I have a menu. And one of the um, things on the menu, it says effect. If you want to click on effect, um, there's all sorts of different effects that you can use here. Uh, and that anytime you, you know, want to apply an effect, you have to highlight um, that part of the song or uh, that part of the audio that you've recorded. Um, and then you can implement the effects by selecting them from this menu. Um, most of them I don't really mess with, but the fade in and fade out tool is really helpful. So I'm just going to click fade in. And you can see how that creates this nice fade for me. So what I'm noticing is this track is pretty loud. So I'm actually going to go over here to where I have the volume and I can turn it down a little bit so it's not as loud. Um, and what I'm going to do next is I want it to start out kind of strong, but then get quieter as I talk. So remember I showed you the time shift tool. So this allows you to select a whole, um, recording or a whole piece of the audio file and drag it and move it to where you want it to go. Um, and let's say I want my audio that I've recorded to start here, and then I want my song to get quiet here. Um, so I'm going to go to this tool that I didn't show you yet, right next to the cursor. It's called the envelope tool. And what this is, is you can basically click 
along the purple line here and you can then click and drag and squeeze um, these points together and that makes the whole thing quieter. Okay, so you can make it a really drastic shift, um, but you should be able to tell the difference. And then again, I'm gonna move this so it lines up nicely. Um, and let's go ahead and press play. Hey everybody, uh, it's Friday, March 27th, and my name is Heather Mack, and I'm here hosting a very special edition of uh, my show, uh, Boston Free Radio Presents, and we are going to be bringing you all sorts of new music uh, from local artists, um, but before we get into... Okay, so you guys get the point. Um, that's pretty much all you're going to need to know how to do, so we, we went over um, how to record, how to make sure you're recording to the right uh, microphone, how to zoom in and zoom out. Um, how to make sure that your audio levels are good and not too loud, um, how to select and delete content you don't want, um, how to move the content around, um, and then how to do some adjusting of volume, okay? So, and then also the fade in and fade out. So I didn't show you fade out, but again, it would just be the same thing. So I'd use my envelope tool to uh, make this a little bit louder at the end, and then I would still create a fade out um, by using my cursor tool, clicking and dragging, and then fading out. And so that would be your whole thing. And then what I would do is uh, save each of these breaks, or if you're doing a whole podcast, then you don't need to save it multiple times because you're not doing like multiple different recordings. Um, but go to File, um, Save Other, and then um, export as MP3 or WAVE. I usually would export this as a WAVE file uh, because it's uncompressed. It makes it sound a little bit nicer, but it also makes the files a little bit bigger. Um, I think to export as an MP3, sometimes you need to add a special plugin. Um, so for right now, I'm just gonna file, save other, and export as a WAVE, a WAVE file. Heather, break one. And that's so that I can keep it in order and know or in what order in my final playlist when I schedule this in Radio Boss, okay? All right, and now it's exported as a WAVE project. So now if I go to, uh, to find it in my computer, I can easily access it. And then um, the next step is to then drop those audio files after you finish mixing and recording them. Um, drop them into your Dropbox folder for your radio show. Uh, make sure that each file that you work on is labeled so that you know um, and you keep track of it so that you know what order it's supposed to go in um, when you schedule your playlist in Radio Boss. Um, and again, if you need uh, to know about how to do that, uh, check out the other tutorial that I created about how to schedule your show remotely in Radio Boss. But I hope this was informative. I hope you learned some cool things. And don't be afraid to reach out, uh, hmac at scattvsomerville.org. Uh, thanks so much. Take care.